गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ज्ञान चैनल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ओरिजिन ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रेडियो एज मीडियम ऑफ मास कम्युनिकेशन सो लेट्स बिगिन द क्लास फर्स्टली वी टॉक अबाउट इवोल्यूशन ऑफ रेडियो ट्वेंटी इयर्स आफ्टर द टेलीफोन वॉज इन्वेंटेड एंड म्यूजिक वॉज फर्स्ट एंड डाउन टेलीफोन डाउन लाइन गुंगलीमो मार्कोनी सेंट रेडियो सिग्नल्स मार्कोनी हु स्टेड बिटवीन एटीन सेवेंटी फोर टू नाइनटीन थर्टी सेवन वॉज बॉर्न इन इटली एंड स्टडीड एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ बोलोगना फैसिनेटेड बाई हैंनरिच हर्ट्स अर्लियर डिस्कवरी ऑफ रेडियो वेव्स ही रियलाइज दैट इट कैन बी यूज फॉर सेंडिंग एंड रिसीविंग टेलीग्राफ मैसेजेस रेफरिंग टू इट एज वायरलेस टेलीग्राफ्स Marconi's first radio transmission in 1896 were coded signals transmitted only about a mile that is 1.6 km Marconi realized that it held huge potential he offered the invention to the Italian government but they turned it down he moved to England took out a patent and experimented further in 1898 Marconi flashed the results of the Kingstown Rogata to the offices of Dublin newspaper thus making a sports event the first public broadcast the next year Marconi opened the um, first radio factory in Chelmsford Essex and established a radio link between Britain and France a link with the USA was established in 1901 In 1909 Marconi shared the Nobel prize in physics for his wireless telegraph Marconi became a wealthy man but Marconi's wireless telegraph transmitted only signals voice over the air as we know radio today came only in 1921 Marconi went on to introduce short wave transmission in 1922 Marconi was not the first to invent the radio however four years before Marconi started experiencing with wireless telegraph Nikola Tesla a Serb who moved to USA in 1884 invented the theoretical model for radio Tesla tried unsuccessful to obtain a court injunction against Marconi in 1915 in 1943 the US Supreme Court uh, reviewed the decision Tesla became acknowledged as the inventor of the radio even though he did not build a working radio there are other claims to the throne of radio invention indian scientist jc bose demonstrated the radio transmission in 1896 in calcutta in front of the british governor general the transmission was over a distance of 3 miles from the presidency college and science college in calcutta the instruments are still there in the science museum of the calcutta university thus writes contributor Deepak Basu referring the proceedings of the I Triple E January 1998 both repeated the demonstration in the Royal Society London in 1899 presence of Lord Rayleigh J Fleming's and later on as a result he was offered professorship in Cambridge but declined both had solved the problem of the hearts not being able to penetrate walls mountains or water marconi was present in the meeting of the royal society and it is thought that he stole the notebook of both that included the drawings of marconi mercury coherer with a telephone detector marconi's coherer which is used in, uh, he used in 1901 was the exact copy of that of both apparently marconi was unable to explain how he got design he said that the italian navy engineer called solari had developed it but solari later denied it anglo banti claimed that the design was invented by signal man paolo castelli bosch did not want to apply for a patent but under pressure from american friends he applied for a patent in september 1901 He was awarded the US patent for the invention of the radio in 1904. By that time Marconi had received his patent and international recognition. It is reputed that Nathan B 
स्टेबल फील्ड ए फार्मर फ्रॉम मुर्रे कैन चुकी मेड ए वाइस ट्रांसमिशन फोर ईयर्स बिफोर मार्कोनी ट्रांसमिटेड रेडियो सिग्नल इन एटीन नाइनटी टू स्टेबल फील्ड हैंडल हिज फ्रेंड रेनी टी वेल्स ए बॉक्स एंड टोल्ड हिम टू वॉक अवे सम डिस्टेंस वेल सेड लेटर आई हैड हार्डली रीच माई पोस्ट वैन आई हर्ड हेलो रैनी केम बोमिंग आउट ऑफ द रिसीवर स्टबल फील्ड डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटेड दिस इन्वेंशन प्रेस नाइनटीन हंड्रेड टू बट बींग ऑफरेड दैट हिज इन्वेंशन विल बी स्टोल एंड नेवल मार्केटेड हिज वायरलेस रेडियो निकोला टेस्ला रिमेंस एक्नोलेज एट द इन्वेंटर ऑफ द रेडियो टूडे देर आर मोर दैन थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड रेडियो स्टेशन अराउंड द वर्ल्ड विद मोर दैन ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड इन द यू एस अलोन वर्ल्ड वाइड देर आर मोर दैन टू बिलियन रेडियो सेट्स इन यूज और अबाउट वन रेडियो फॉर एवरी थ्री पर्सन प्रूफ दैट वीडियो नेवर किल्ड द रेडियो स्टार नाउ वी टॉक अबाउट ऑल इंडिया रेडियो इन ब्रिटिश इंडिया ब्रॉडकास्टिंग स्टार्ट इन जून नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री विद प्रोग्राम्स बाई द रेडियो क्लब ऑफ बॉम्बे followed by other radio clubs then by the agreement of 1926 the private indian broadcasting company was granted permission to operate two radio stations the bombay stations was uh, station was inaugurated on july 23 1927 calcutta station followed on august 26 1927 but already in march 1 1930 company went into liquidation thus the government took over the broadcasting facilities starting the indian state broadcasting service we call it isbs on april 1 1930 on june 8 1936 the isbs was renamed all india radio also known as akashvani since 1956 rabindranath tagore had coined the word akashvani for it in the 1930s the name however got official later in 1956 On October 1, 1935-39, the external service with a broadcast in Pushtu, it was designed to counter radio t- uh, propaganda for Germany directed to Afghanistan, Iran, and Arab countries. When India became independent in 1947, the AIR worked hard only six worked uh, had only six stations: Delhi, Bombay, Calcutta, Madras, Lucknow, and Tiruchi. The local number of radio sets at that time were about two lakh seventy-five thousand. On October three, nineteen fifty-seven, the Vivid Bharti service was launched to complete the radio silon. Television broadcasting began in Delhi, nineteen fifty-nine, and Punjab All India Radio, but was separated from radio at Doordarshan on April one, nineteen seventy-six. FM broadcasting commenced on July twenty-three, nineteen seventy-seven. in madras and was expanded in the 1990s if we talk about akashvani akashvani means celestial announcement a word of sanskrit origin often found in hindi mythology whenever gods wanted to say something on akashvani occur literally akash means sky and vani means sound of like message that is sounds or message coming from the sky thus word akashvani was seem to be fit to be used for a radio company words and sounds coming from sky all india radio is also known as akashvani officially since 1956 rabindranath tagore coined this word the name however got official later 1956 now air services air has many different services each catering to different regions of languages across india one of the most famous services of air is the vivid bharti seva roughly translating to multi indian service vivid bharti celebrated as golden jubilee on 3rd october 2007 vivid bharti has the only comprehensive database of songs from so called golden era of hindi film music 1940s to 80s this service is the most commercial of all and it popular in mumbai and other cities of india Service offers a wide range of programs, including news, film, music, comedy shows, etc. Vivid Bharti service operates on different meter wave (MW) band frequencies for each city.
The external service division of All India Radio broadcasts in 27 languages to countries outside of India, primarily by high powered short wave broadcast through medium wave, is also used to reach neighboring countries. In addition to broadcast targeted at specific countries by language, there is a general overseas service which broadcasts in English with 8 uh, 1 by 4 hours of programming each day and is aimed at a general international audience. The external broadcasts were started on October 1, 1939 by the then British government to counter the propaganda of the Nazis directed at the Afghan people. The first broadcasts were in Pasto, beam to Afghanistan and the then Northwest Frontier Province. Soon broadcasts were started in Dari, Persian, Arabic, English, Burmese, Japanese, Chinese, Malay, French, etc. The external services today broadcast in 27 languages, that is 16 foreign and 11 Indian languages, with a total program out of 70.2 hours per day. The foreign languages are Arabic, Baluchi, Burmese, Chinese, Dari, English, French, Indonesian, Nepali, Persian, Pashto, Russian, Singhala, Swahili, Thai, and Tibetan. Indian languages are Bengali, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Malayalam, Punjabi, Saraiki, Sindhi, Tamil, Telugu, and Urdu. Maximum duration of the Urdu service to Pakistan round the clock on DTH and on short wave public medium wave for 12.15 hours, while the English broadcast to various parts of the world called general overseas service has 8.15 hours. During the Hajj season, there are special broadcasts in Urdu beam to Saudi Arabia. The external services of AIR is even, even broadcast to Europe in the news broadcasting mode DRM, that is digital radio mode DRM. Now we want to talk about you, Ani, voice of youth. External services division of all India radio broadcast in 27 languages to countries outside India. Primarily by high powered short wave broadcast through medium, though although medium wave is also used to reach neighboring countries. In addition to broadcast targeted at specific countries by languages, there is a general overseas service which broadcast in English with eight, uh, eight and one by four hours of programming each day and is aimed at a general international audience. The external broadcasts were started in October 1, 1939 by the then British government to counter the propaganda of Nazis directed at Afghan people. The first broadcasts were in Pashto, beam to Afghanistan and the then Northwest Frontier Province. Soon broadcasts were started in Dari, Persian, Arabic, English, Burmese, Japanese, English, Malaya, Chinese, French, etc. Now we talk about radio as a tool of development. Radio is a perfect medium of mass communication. If you compare it to other mass media, radio consistently ranks as the most popular means of disseminating information, regardless of the continent, what makes radio particularly appealing to research projects. However, it is interactivity, its capacity to provoke dialogue and the sol to solicit participation of local populations. With its lower production costs and extreme versatility, it is just suitable for dissemination of information as it is for entertainment or educational purposes. A number of factors account for the predominance of radio over other forms of mass media in sub-Saharan Africa. High literacy rates, particularly in rural areas, high illiteracy rates, particularly in rural areas and among women, and the fact that it is an oral medium give radio advantage over other media. The advent of transistors had a democratizing effect by making radio receivers much more widely accessible to families. Practice of collective listening developed by many rural or local radio stations gives even more people uh, access to radio and can play an important role in the community. Its potential for interactivity is also enormous. With the emergence of rural community and associative radio stations, Radio has become a tool for bringing people closer. These small stations with their limited broadcasting range have clearly identified audiences whose needs they know well and which they are able to adjust. Moreover, their production costs are very affordable. 
more and more research projects and community groups are make taking advantage of the participatory potential of radio in an oral culture such as one finds in africa radio represents important ally to research teams this is one communication tool they absolutely must use local radio offers a way of communicating directly with the research projects target group it can be a very effective tool when the stakeholders are involved in the design and production of the information this is particularly true in context where the participatory development communication approach is emphasized in any medium but particularly in the case of audio visual tools the best message is one that has been conceived and delivered by the target group itself if the project uh, stakeholders are able to recognize their fellow citizens neighbors or friends in a program they hear on radio you will have found a way to grab this uh, their attention now we talk about information broadcasting format the radio offers several possible formats for broadcasting information uh, they are uh, firstly we talk about the interview this radio format allows listener to become acquainted with a person project or idea interviews are easy to produce a pre interview usually takes place between the interviewer and the research team or the re- person being interviewed it may be used to decide on the main orientation of the interview discuss the conclusions being sought and review the questions and answers and some of the specifics of the subject then when the actual interview begins everyone knows what direction it will take there are no surprises interviews can be broadcast live or taped live broadcast while more risky are less expensive to produce now if we talk about discussion panels frequently used in participatory communication discussion panels are well suited to the medium of radio a clash of ideas makes them even more interesting unless there is an urgent need to broadcast the discussion panel live it is better to produce a carefully edited montage in which the presenter intervenes to provide the context for listeners to establish links and summarizes summaries and to explain subsequent developments in this context a good discussion panel can be highly effective communication tool next is news bulletin this format is used when news needs to be communicated the news item may relate to a new development in the research project or its environment or it may involve information that needs to be transmitted in the public interest the news can be transmitted orally to journalist either informally or as an interview or if greater details are required through a press release the press release should provide the essential information who what where when why and how it should also provide the telephone number of the contact person on the project in case of the journalist requires additional information radio documentary programs are a remarkable propaganda tool for a research project broadcasting these programs over the airwaves on internet or via cassette is a good way to ensure a broader understanding of the project radio documentary can take several forms in addition to the narrator it can involve both real people and actors playing characters in programs broadcast in the vernacular the form of storytelling used should reflect that the language in which the story is being told adding music and sound effects can considerably enhance the enhance the program's impact if there is too much material to cover with one documentary a series can be made indeed rather than producing a single lengthy document that might bore listeners it is preferable to produce a series of shorter documentaries lasting 10 to 15 minutes each that will sustain the audience's attention over a longer broadcast period now we talk about radio theater there is one of the most effective uh, instrument theater is one of the most effective instrument instruments of communication for campaigns in africa in burkina faso for example villagers often say that theater their favorite channel for receiving communication despite the presence of amateur theater troops throughout the country it is not always easy to organize and finance theatrical presentations in number of villages over an extended period A radio production can offer an interesting interactive that allows you to broadcast the material to the villages and groups of your choice 
without the need for a traveling trope. Now we talk about radio soap operas. It is a special genre that combines theater and con continuity. The advantage of this format is that it can foster a sustained interest in your project. A radio soap opera can be developed, for example, based on the characters of a theoretical piece that our team had a hand a hand in creating. You can develop new situations or problems, and from one episode to the next, you can address different aspects of your research. A good radio soap opera presents weekly episodes lasting from 10 to 15 minutes, broadcast during peak listening periods to reach as wide and varied as audience as possible. Each episode deals with a specific theme extending over several weeks. The most important thing is to maintain dramatic intensity and to depict strong representative characters who will make the listeners want to tune in the following week. Now we talk about public games. Broadcast by community radio stations tend to be extremely popular with local populations. These programs are produced on site in villages and neighborhoods and their name implies they take the form of games and contests involving the participation of the public. Public radio games offer an opportunity to bring together the different segments of the population around a theme you wish to address. Public games create a festive atmosphere and emphasize on interactive approach that foster freedom of expression that could not necessarily be possible in other circumstances. They help bridge social and cultural gaps and encourage spontaneous expression. They are also an excellent tool for assessing the state of the population's knowledge of an issue. Now we talk about mini programs. These involve short messages dealing with various themes broadcast on a regular basis. They serve as a sort of social advertising tool that supports other measures aimed at bringing about behavioral change. Feedbacks. Though it may seem strange to consider feedback as a form of radio production, there is no denying that it makes for excellent radio material. Indeed, feedback can be found everywhere in radio, in mail or listeners, in the meetings of clubs or radio sessions, during the broadcasting of public games, a person-to-person -person meeting, interviews, encounters, etc. Production When producing a program for the radio, always consider the audience you want to reach. One good way to ensure that you accurately reflect the needs of your listener is to invite them to participate in the conceptualization of content of your program. This can help you minimize the risk of missing the mark. And always remember that although you may not have any radio expertise, the professional you talk to at a radio station does and will probably be happy to share it with you if you take the time to establish a relationship. Production Sequence When establishing the production schedule, make sure you allocate enough time for each step in the process. Script writing, whether the scripts are being written by radio professional, outside sources, or members of the project team, it's important to agree on the content to supply the necessary information, to create useful context for the gathering of information, and to verify all your material before going into a studio. Afterwards, it will be too late. If you choose to produce a radio play or soap opera, always ask the radio station staff which author, group, or actors they usually work with. And always check the end product carefully before broadcasting. The production process involves a sequence of events that must be carefully planned in terms of time and resources. A fixed schedule should be established. Discussion regarding the aim of the show, target audience, plan programming, available budget, choice of format, scripts, deadline for submission of scripts, production steps, and broadcast dates. Avoid equipment problems. Working with community or local radio stations presents many significant advantages. When you are trying to reach local population, however, the limited financial resources available to community radio stations mean that their equipment is often defective. It's always a good idea to check your equipment before heading into the field. Now we will discuss about FM radio. In the mid-90s, when India first experienced with private FM broadcasts, the small tourist destination of Goa was the fifth place in the country 
of 1 billion where private players got FM slots. The other four centers were the big metro cities Delhi, Mumbai, Calcutta and Chennai. These were followed by stations in Bangalore, Hyderabad, Jaipur and Lucknow. Indian policy currently states that these broadcasters are assessed a one-time entry fee for the entire license period of 10 years. Under the Indian accounting system, this amount is amortized over the 10-year period at 10% per annum. Annual license fee for private players is either 4% of revenue share or 10% of reserve price, whichever is higher. Earlier, India's attempts to privatize its FM channels ran into rough weather when private players bid heavily and most could not meet their commitments to play, pay the government the amounts they owed. Content News is not permitted on private FM. Although the Federal Minister for Information Broadcasting say this may be considered in two to three years. Naturally, many of the current FM players, including the Times of India, Dushan Time, Midday, and BBC, are presently newspaper channels or media, and they are already making a strong pitch for news on FM market view. India's new private FM channels could also change the advertising scenario. Traditionally, radio accounts for 7% to 8% of advertiser expenditures around the world. In India, it is less than 2% as present. Now we talk about current allocation process. In SM, FM phase 2, latest round of the long delayed opening up of private FM India, some 338 frequencies were offered. Of which about 237 were sold. Government may go for rebidding of unsold frequencies quite soon. In phase 3 of FM licensing, smaller town or cities will be opened up for FM radio. Reliance and South Asia FM bid most of the 97 cities, uh, although they were allowed only 15% of the total allocated frequencies. Between them, they have had a surrender over 20, 40 licenses. Now we talk about internet or live radio. Internet radio, also known as web radio, net radio, streaming radio, and e-radio is an audio service transmitted via the internet. Music streaming on the internet is usually referred to as webcasting since it is not transmitted broadly through wireless means. Internet radio involves streaming media, presenting listeners with a continuous stream of audio that could cannot be paused or relayed, much like traditional broadcast media. In this respect, it is distinct from on-demand file serving. Internet radio is also instinct from broadcasting, which involves downloading rather than streaming. Many internet radio services are associated with a corresponding traditional terrestrial radio station or radio network. Internet only radio uh, stations are independent of such associations. Internet radio services are usually accessible from anywhere in the world. For example, one could listen to an Australian station from Europe or America. Some major networks like Clear Channel and CBS Radio in the US and uh, Processes in the UK restrict listening to in-country because of music licensing and advertising concerns. Internet radio remains popular among expatriates, expatriates and listeners with interests that are often not adequately served by local radio stations such as Eurodance, progressive rock, ambient music, folk music, classical music and stand-up comedy. Internet radio services offer news, sports, talk, and various genres of music, every format that is available on traditional radio stations. Inter -radio, internet radio technology. Firstly, we talk about streaming. Streaming technology is used to distribute internet radio typically owing a lossy audio codec. Streaming audio formats include MP3, OGG, 4 bits Windows, Media Audio, Real Audio, and HEAAC. Audio data is continuously transmitted serially streamed over the local network or internet on TC in TCP or UDP packets. When assembled at the receiver and played a second or two later, the delay is called lag and is introduced at several stages of digital audio broadcasting. Simulation. Local 
tuner simulation program includes all the online radios that can also be heard in the air in the city. Now we talk about its popularity. In 2003, revenue from online streaming music radio was US $49 million. By 2006, that fever rose to $500 million. February 21, 2007, survey of 3,000 Americans released by consultancy bridge ratings and research found that as much as 19% of your consumers 12 and older listen to web-based radio stations. In other words, there were some 57 million weekly listeners of internet radio programs. More people listen to online radio than to satellite radio. High definition radio podcasts are cell phone based radio combined. In April 2008, Arbitration survey showed that in the U.S., more than one in seven persons aged 25 to 54 years old listen to online radio each week. In 2008, 13% of the American population listened to the radio online, compared with 11% in 2007. Internet radio functionality is also built into many dedicated internet radio devices, which give an FM-like receiver user experience. Gentlemen, with this, we come to end of today's class. Thank you. Good day.